Hello everyone, YouTube, welcome. Hello YouTube. And my name is Pablo Marte. This is my beautiful wife and co-host. Maricel Marte. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to Power Marriage. Yes, it's uh, not because we're Power Marriage yet. No, we're working we're towards working. it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nice. No? Oh. no? Okay. But we're working. We're on the road. Yes, we are. To becoming to a become, power marriage. Yes. Yes. And I hope you guys are too. It takes a lot of work. Oh, yes, it does. And dedication. And discipline. Persistence. Mm -hmm. And hope. Yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> All right. So today we're going to talk about looking towards the future. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, yes. And sometimes it's easier said than done. It's kind of hard sometimes to have yes. a clear... Uh, mm -hmm. vision of the future you know especially as human beings oh yes we tend to focus on the past yes definitely <laughs> so uh, one of the key things for that right to look towards the future is take full responsibility of your marriage mm -hmm. and of the future of your marriage yes that's very important keys that you look towards the future of your marriage not what happened so pretty much know that you can control your destiny the destiny of your marriage. You can become a victim, and that's how victims, you know, they, it depends on their circumstance beyond their control, you start becoming the victim. Yes, you know? or pretty much right, when things happen, mm -hmm. then they become the victim, right? I mean, saying things like, well, you know, this happened to me, and mm -hmm. because this happened to me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's why I'm in this situation, and that's why my marriage sucks, that's why we're, we're not moving forward, that's why we don't get along. Is because of these circumstances beyond my control, beyond our control. And you start saying, "Oh, I wish it was like when we were dating." <laughs> yes. So, so right. So, so those are people. They become the victims. Mm -hmm. Now, the people that have successful marriages, yes. they pretty much make their own circumstances, mm -hmm. okay, and respond differently. So, if something negative happens, it's not just exactly about what happened. It's how you respond no. to that negativity. Right? You can dwell on it and say like the victim mentality, which is gonna say, Well, this happened, you know, it's that's why I'm in this situation, that's why our marriage is the way it is. This happened to us, as opposed to, well, yes, that happened, and this is what we're gonna do about it. This is how we're gonna react, this is what we're gonna do to stay on course. Yeah, just don't stay on that past or you know, whatever happened what, two or five or even ten years ago. No. Uh, we tend to stay on that subject and you tend to always Talk about that, you know, like if it happened today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, you know, have you ever spoken to somebody and they say, <laughs> oh, well, you know, I can't forgive my wife mm -hmm. because uh, that one time, you know, she did uh, whatever, X, Y, C, you know, I mean, uh, I was talking and, you know, she, I don't know, you know, did something, right? Some kind of an incident, sometimes a small incident, sometimes maybe, right, might be major depending on who you are. But something, let's say, that I could say, oh, something that, that she said and did and, you know, then you come to find out, well, it sounds like, oh, she did that yesterday, so you're mad at her. Okay, hey, I understand. You'll get over it. Mm -mm. No, the reality is that maybe happened two, three, five, who knows, ten years ago, and they're yeah. still talking about it today <laughs> like it happened, you know, a little while ago. Yeah, and it's because they tend to always focus on what happened and not what what can they do, you know, to change the mindset. Yes, they don't deal with the situation. No. You need to deal with it so you can get over it and move yeah. past it. You got to heal from that, you know, meaning talk to your spouse, sit down, yes. have a conversation about it. Yeah, and some people stay stuck in the past. Yeah. Uh, when you're stuck in the past, you fight about the past. Oh yeah, that's all there is. That's and the that's only thing you fight is about the past. Right, again, imagine you're today fighting about something that happened two or three years ago. That's ridiculous, I mean. Or even 20 if you can, ago. Yeah, <laughs> if you can stand back and yeah. look at yourself and say, wow, wow. that's, you know, we shouldn't be fighting about uh, that. That's a waste of time. And it actually takes a hold of your, your entire life. I mean, you're so bitter and stuck on that, that you don't create new memories. You don't create anything new. Yeah. It's actually sad. Oh, yeah. Very sad. Um, right? So, exactly. So, instead of being stuck in the past, what you want to do mm -hmm. is focus on the present, right? Yes. Be uh, working in the present. Be living in the present. Be building in the present. Yes. Um, so that the future, right, will be better because you determine your future. Yes. Uh, and that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Keep focused on the present now while you're living it, building it for the future. Have a vision for your future. That's yes. pretty much where you got to start, you know, developing a vision for your marriage. 
Exactly. So you build that vision. And then the second thing is you need to have the path. Mm -hmm. So know the path that you need to take, right? I'm here. How do I get there to that vision that I created? Right? Even if it's hard, try to be motivated about going forward, you know, motivate your spouse, motivate each other, you know, find things that are going to help you to move forward and not to stay stuck in the past or 10 years ago. Yeah. And everything that you do, you want to ask yourself, right? Is what I'm doing now, is it keeping me on that path? Is it getting me closer to my vision? Yes. And as you were looking at the, uh, uh, the proverbial carrot, mm -hmm. if you will, that yes. vision has to be that carrot that is in front of you that you're keep chasing and keep chasing, right? Till you get there. Okay. Yes. And you will eventually get there. And it does happen because it's, you know, we've done this in our marriage and it's helping us to actually move forward and not dwell on something that happened 10 years ago. Yeah, we won't have been married four and a yeah, half, four years, and ago. half years ago. But, <laughs> we, but we, 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 we try not to dwell on something that happened like say, years two ago. years ago or three yeah. years ago. Because we've had a couple of little incidents mm -hmm. that happened in, in our marriage. Yeah. And as we mentioned in one of the videos, we're going to talk about these things yeah. to kind of help you if you're going through any situations like that. Definitely. But today we want to make sure that you look towards the future. Mm -hmm. And if you like looking towards the future, let us know. Hit, yeah, let us know. But hit that uh, like button. Yes. Right? Yes. Go ahead and you know, pound it hard and say, leave awesome. us some comments. Yeah. Yeah. Say awesome. Leave us some comments in there. We'd like to hear from you guys and thank you to the five subscribers for awesome. subscribing to our five. channel. We have five subscribers. Oh, yes. And let's multiply that. Let's get 10. Yes. That's our next goal. Yes. Like 10. Okay. All right. Awesome. Have a good one guys. All right guys. We'll Bye. see you tomorrow. Bye YouTube.